Yeah, I mean, uh, just I, I mean, I can't remember exactly where we finished turnover margin wise, but turnovers win games, win championships. Uh, you know, um, creates big momentum, creates big plays in games. Um, you never know when they're going to happen, but but they, they make a huge, huge difference. And you get what you emphasize. I feel like this spring we, we really emphasized creating turnovers, you know, a lot of different things, but, but that was one major emphasis. Hey, if we can steal a possession, you know, and set our offense up for success, you know, that that's huge in, in the grand scheme of things. So just another another thing to emphasize. Is just the mentality or the things you can actually practice to, to get more turnovers? It's both. You know, you can, you, uh, can grade guys, hey, taking shots on balls, you know, whether it's a, a, a offensive guy running down the field and you see defenders trying to punch and strip the ball. You know, it, it just becomes muscle memory and habit. You know, just a different way to, to teach and emphasize. Where do you see Barnes and Lewis fitting in to some positions that are pretty, pretty deep? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I think they have a chance to challenge for opportunity. Um, Khalil uh, came in, uh, well, I would say well beyond his years a little bit. Should have been going to the prom in the spring, but he's out here intercepting passes in the spring game. Um, so really cool to see where he's at. Just a, always has a smile on his face. Just a, a great kid who, who really fits us. Um, Credit to his high school co coaches, you know, he, he came in, uh, had a great knowledge standpoint. Um, technique has been superb for a young guy. We're just excited to see him challenged for opportunity, whether that's playing 25 plays on special teams or getting in the rotation at nickel, safety, whatever it is, you know. Um, I think he's got a chance to challenge for those opportunities. And then the same thing with Shelton, super competitive kid, um, all about his business, shows up with the right mindset, you know, and, and just fighting for opportunity like everyone else. And uh, we'll see how it all shakes out in August. But those two definitely have, a, have an opportunity to challenge. Can you talk about the self-evaluation process that he went through? What, what does that actually look like to call other coaches that you know, get feedback, to just call to Dabo, just watch film yourself over and over? Like, what does that actually look like? Yeah, a, a lot of different things. You know, I got a circle of, of friends that are coordinators at different spots that I, that I rely on. I talk to maybe once or twice a week or, or whatever, just bounce ideas. Or, um, you know, how, how can I get better in this area? And then obviously watching a ton of film, you know, even now I'll go back and throw on games from last year and just uh, watch the flow of the game and the adjustments and that sort of thing. And then just obviously being out on the road recruiting, get a, get a lot of time to yourself, whether that's driving in a car or uh, a late night at a hotel or whatever, just a lot of time you know, to yourself to think about different things and, and write down, you know, I keep a journal on, on my iPad basically and just write down things, how I would do things different. Or maybe, hey, I, I like how this, this is or whatever, I wouldn't change this at all. But just a lot of different ways to self-reflect and grow. This time last year, did you have a proper grasp of that idea you were talking about or the fact that you were talking about you can only learn some of these things? Doing it oh, when the lights are on. Did yeah, you have definitely. The, you, you did. So you had a. Yeah, I had no idea. Like oh, you did not. Yeah, yeah. like till you're thrown in the fire, you don't necessarily know. Um, so it's definitely a learning experience every day. In terms of you now have two spring under your belt, fall camp, a season. Like, what are the things that you do you think now that didn't quite you know, that you're kind of in a form in terms of how you're going to shape the defense? So. Yeah, I guess just looking at things from a big picture perspective, you know, of whether it's drilling fundamental football, just emphasizing certain things like the turnovers, um, how to, you know, just just the confidence that it takes to get up in front of the guys every day. You know. Even dealing with you guys, I feel like 
going back, I, I've grown tremendously in, in that area. And, uh, so I'm excited about year two. Wes, uh, we, I constantly hear coaches talk about having to re-recruit their roster in the transfer port and, and NIL era. Can you speak to just how your day-to-day -day has changed in this, the new era of college football? Um, maybe it's changed a little bit, but I feel like just by being myself and just the reason why I got into coaching was to build great men through the game of football. And, you know, I feel like if you do that every day and you are who you are and you're transparent and um, pour into guys, then I, I think that, that sells itself sort of deal. And obviously, Clemson, we're, we're a great place. We have unlimited or really good resources to take care of guys from that standpoint. But um, people don't stay at places as long as I, this would be my 12th year at Clemson, Coach Sweeney 20 something years here as well. You know, you don't stay at a place and uh, for that amount of time and be full of, full of crap. You know, you are, people know who you are. And, uh, you know, I, I think just being who we are every day, guys want to come back. You know, Tyler Davis's roots. Uh, X, XT, Maskell, Sheridan Jones, JP, you know, those guys want to come back because uh, because of the culture that Coach Sweeney has uh, created here. Since you're talking about the transfer portal, uh, Coach Sweeney has brought in two transfers in, in all the time, both, you know, backup third string quarterbacks. Um, is that something that y'all talk about with recruits? I mean, that, that's so rare. I mean, most schools are bringing in 20 or more guys from the transfer portal every year. Uh, is, is that a selling point that, you know, come here, we're not going to go outside to, you know, find a guy to replace you? Most definitely. You know, I mean, that's, that's a huge selling point because, uh, you know, I would say typically, you know, most guys make, make the jump in their third year of football, even seeing at the NFL level, you know, rookies coming in usually takes about two to three years you know just catching up the speed of the game and so forth and so on but um, it goes back to we've never signed a junior college player here either you know um, if you come in put in the time put in the work you know and, and uh, once the guys um, once you get your opportunity or whatever um, coach is really committed to those guys versus bringing guys in and two when you have guys in and out of your locker room you can't main, maintain a culture um, you know um, guys are here for six months and leaving you know um, it, it's a really really bad vibe in your locker room and uh, thankfully you know coach has been here and, and we've been established for a long time, so we don't have to, to deal with some of the things that, that new staffs are dealing with, or, or, or even others. And uh, it, it's really cool to see guys come in and really put in the work and, and time, and then once they get their opportun opportunity to see them maximize it. When you're, done, when you're sort of diagnosing 